Hey guys, it's Olivia. So today I have a Disney haul for you. These are things that I bought on my Disney College program, which was from August 2016 to the beginning of January 2017. So this is stuff I bought then. Um, I don't remember the prices for a lot of the things just because I did buy them over the course of like five months. I also got my cast member discount while I bought all this stuff, so I don't remember the exact prices. If I do though, I'll let you know. You can also look on the Disney Shop Parks app and that will tell you all the prices for these items. You can look up all these items that I'm showing you on the app and you can actually get them, if you really like it, you can get them sent straight to your home. Don't even have to go to Disney World. But I think these haul videos are really helpful to know what merchandise is out there and to know how much you should save for your Disney vacation. Now every haul I've ever seen, they do a disclaimer that says basically this is my stuff. I bought this stuff with my own money. So I'll just say that too, I guess. I worked a full-time job six days a week for the Walt Disney Company able to buy all this stuff. The pile of things you see on my bed is uh, stuff I'm showing you today. Now, a lot of the stuff is here at my apartment, but a lot of it is at my home too. So I'm just gonna show you everything at my apartment today. Okay, first I'm gonna start with Disney mugs. So the first one I have is this Marie mug. Um, most of my mugs I bought in Animal Kingdom, but you can also get them from Walt Disney, Emporium, um, Mouse Ears, and Epcot. I just thought that this was really cute. So I got it, I do not remember how much it was. Um, Marie on this side it comes out a little bit, like she's 3D, and on this side it's just a printing. My next mug is this little Bambi Zoom Zoom, not Zoom Zoom, but like it's animated type of thing. It's actually really, really big, so I usually only put like liquid like halfway up to it. Um, and it's great inside, and then it has a little like buck thingy right there not a Bambi fan, I just thought this was cute from the second I saw it um, in Disney Hall before my program. So I have is a You Are Here mug from Starbucks. Um, so Starbucks has this collection called You Are Here mugs and you will see that they have these like in different states and um, I don't know, I guess the Disney parks as well. Um, so they have one for all four parks, but I ended up getting the one for Animal Kingdom because that's the park that I worked in the most. That's the park I liked the most. And so it's got the Tree of Life, it's got Mount Everest, or Expedition Everest, the Safari, um, there's this like upside down tree on the Safari, the animals and stuff. Um, and then it is green on the inside, it says Disney's Animal Kingdom. The next mug is this Happy Holidays mug. Um, it was out from November through the end of January. So it's got Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto, and then it says Warm Winter Wishes on the back. Um, on the inside, it has this little, like, poinsettia holly thing. Um, and this was $14.99. Um, yeah, it's about the same size as the Starbucks You Are Here mug. Yeah. And then, so you can compare, this is how big this one is. It's just really tall and really big. And the last two mugs I got are actually more, like, cereal bowls or soup bowls. Because they're huge. Like, compare it to already a large Disney mug. I don't know if you can see, but this is really, really big. Um, so this one is Minnie Mouse. It's got her polka dots on the inside. And I also got one that was Donald Duck. And it has his bow tie on the inside. And what I really like about these, even though they are super duper big and I will never use them to drink anything out of, they have their signatures on the back. So Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck. They also had one for Mickey. And I don't know if they had any other characters. Um, but yeah, what I like about it is this is Minnie Mouse's actual signature. Um, most of Minnie Mouse's merchandise in the stores is not her signature. It says Minnie Mouse, but in Mickey Mouse's handwriting. So I really liked that it had the actual correct proper signatures on the back. Since I'm doing kitchen things right now, I'll show you the other things I got. I got this Mickey Mouse cookie cutter and it was $7.95. Um, it is really big so I also got this one which is technically like a sandwich cutter or something um but we have we made cookies with this there's still stickers on it um I think I have made cookies with it though anyway this is more of a size this is like more of a regular size cookie this is gonna be like a really really big cookie so I got both of these I think they're super cute and I also got um this set of molds Mickey molds so, so far I have baked cookies in them and they turned out great. Um, my friend made brownies in them and they turned out great. 
and I don't know if this was like $17 or like $13 or it was $17 but I got it for $13. It was something like that. Um, but if you just look in the kitchen section on the Disney Shop Parks app, it will tell you the prices for these. Okay, so the two home type items that I have here with me at my apartment is this pillow. It says Believe in Magic and the other side says Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust. This is literally me in a pillow. Um, gray and blue are kind of like my theme. Gray, blue, and white are like my favorite colors. Um, and then Tinkerbell is like my pixie. These, I know how much these ones cost. It is one for $28 or two for $40. Um, which would make them $20 each and I knew this because I wanted my roommate to go in on it with me so that it was only $20 a person then with our 40% discount it'd be like $12 a pillow but no one would go in on it with me so I ended up buying one for $28 plus whatever my discount was but they have this they also have ones that are green and say never grow up um, they have ones that say like tell us what is time there's one that says super califragilisticexpialidocious and it's like this long and on the back it says practically perfect in every way. So they do have these but in other themes and in other colors. They have one that's like burgundy, they have one that's gold and black. I think they have one that's gray. So they have um, a lot of other themes as well. But this is the one that I bought. And the other pillow item is actually a pillow pet. <laughs> I bought a Minnie Mouse pillow pet um, because my pillow at my apartment was so uncomfortable and I legit needed a pillow. So this is her. I don't know how much she costs. Just look up pillow pet on the app. Um, but yep. And then she's just polka dotted. But yeah, they have Mickey ones as well. They also have Pluto and Dumbo, Simba, Sully, Stitch. Those are the only ones I can think of right now. But yes, I like the Minnie Mouse one. So she is the one that I got. And it's a full size pillow pet. Next item I got was my Monster University cap. I am wearing these all the time. It's got the little rib that's supposed to be there. So when you see that, know what's supposed to be there. They sell this in, again, almost every single shop. Definitely the Emporium, Mouse Gears. Um, there's, in Animal Kingdom, there's Island Mercantile on the left-hand side. And then, Dis I think it's called Discovery Outpost on the right-hand side. Um, but yeah, that's where I got this. And then it's just adjustable in the back, so it's one size fits all. Now I'm going to show you some jewelry that I bought. So the first thing is this Mickey Mouse necklace. Ooh, focus. It's not going to focus. Um, but it has three little like crystal things, and it's just a head. Um, and I don't remember how much it costs. I know it was on the maroon tag, however much maroon it costs. But it's like the perfect little size for me. Um, and I ended up not being able to buy this in time before I left my program. So I bought this on the Disney Shop Parks app and had it delivered to my house. While I was there, I also bought three Alex and Ani bracelets. They just released in 2017. They released it right after I left. Um, a Merida one, a Pocahontas one, and somebody else. And I really love the Pocahont Pocahontas one and I'm disappointed that I didn't get it. But there's this one. Oh my gosh. Focus. It's not going to focus. Um, but it says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And has a crown. It's got this little Mickey thing. Does it have a flag on it? Does it? Yes, it does. So I got a dream is a wish your heart makes. And I got these silver ones. They have this in shiny silver and shiny gold. Um, a lot of the old Alex and Onis are like a tarnished kind of silver color. And then like a copper color. And I would have gotten an Animal Kingdom one, but they didn't have it in shiny silver, which is um, what I am collecting. So that one and the other two I have not taken out of the packages yet. So I bought them like the last day I was there. Okay, hopefully you can see this. But it says, Think Happy Thoughts. And it's got Tinkerbell on it. Tinkerbell. Yeah. Think Happy Thoughts. You can't really see it. I'm sorry. If you go on the app, you can see it. Um, yeah, so that one's in silver. And then I also got... This one, which says it all started with a mouse. It's hard to arrange it so you can see it. Oh my gosh, Mickey, your head's in the way. Okay, okay, kind of see it better, but it's 
red and then black and then in silver outline um, and then it says it all started with mouse and my friends got it in gold and the outline of him and the words are in gold as well now it is time for all the clothes which i bought a lot of so first off is this walt disney world sweatshirt just the normal crew neck all of my roommates and i ended up getting these um i got my sister one as well it's the most comfortable thing ever i bought a size small and it's not tight at all it's like a perfect like comfy sweatshirt but it's definitely not too big so yeah super cute i love this the next thing is not disney but i got this from universal and it is my ravenclaw sweatshirt um and then it has the patch on the side yeah and then it like comes down more towards that and i think this was like 65 dollars or something ridiculous and no discount which was really really tough but yeah that was that if you plan on going there as well okay next i have this animal kingdom shirt i think it's supposed to be kind of like a crop toppy type thing i end up getting a size medium and i wear it like it can be straight but it can also go a little bit off the shoulder so yeah it's got this is like a gold foil type thing and that's just like screen printed on and I flippin' love it. And they sell this at the shop that's across the street from Tusker House um, over in Africa. And um, sometimes they might be out of it though, it depends on what day you go. They have this shirt at um, Island Mercantile, which if you're walking into Animal Kingdom and you see the Tree of Life, it's a shop on, right on the left as you walk in. And again, I got a medium in this one. Here is a tank top I got from Magic Kingdom. Um, I don't know how long they're gonna have these for because it this isn't a 45th anniversary one but it came out that week and then i didn't see them again after that um so it says magic kingdom established 1971. i got a size small and it's a racer back and yeah i would just wear this to work i'm excited for it to be uh shorts weather again so that i can wear it my Minnie mouse shirt it says 28 on it for 1928, which is when she and Mickey were drawn. They just turned 80. Um, or 88? 80 or 88? 88, wow. So, yeah. Um, I got a size small in this as well. And they have these in Mickey and Stitch. T-shirt time. So, this first one, I actually got at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It says that. 2016. Yep just them in all their little costume i got a size small i got a size small in this um i think it was like 22 dollars or something because you had to be at the party to buy it this is a this matches my t-shirt it's a little bit darker gray though um it says walt disney world i got these for every member of my family um don't remember how much they cost i got a small i got a small for my sister as well my mom and grandma mediums and my dad a large and they all fit everybody so yeah kind of long but i have a short little body so that's why it is long on me this next shirt says mickey on it and i got this from the emporium in october or september and they didn't have it even in november so if you see a shirt buy it because once turnover happens they might not restock that item um but yes Mickey 1928 Walt Disney World I love this shirt you'll see I wear it a lot especially on my Instagram photos next shirt is from Hollywood Studios it's very plain legit just says Disney Hollywood Studios Mickey in the middle doesn't say anything on the back um, this is a size small as well I just really liked it and thought it was really simple because I have worked there and wanted something from there this shirt I got during September, I think, um, for Halloween, Ugh. Disney World celebrates Halloween from September 1st to like November 1st, maybe November 2nd, and then it's Christmas for two months. So for the two months of Halloween, I wanted to celebrate it. Halloween 2016 Walt Disney World, and what I really like is um, these are the costumes that the boys actually wore at Hollywood and Vine for Christmas or for Halloween. So Donald was an astronaut, Mickey had that exact 
spider vampire costume. Goofy was um, a cowboy with a spider on his cap. Um, I really like it. And I got this in a child large um, because a child large is pretty much the same size as an adult small, but an adult small is longer. So like I just said, I have a short little body. Um, so that was perfect for me. The print screen printing is a little bit smaller than on the adult sizes, but I did not care. It looks the, it looks the same to me. A child extra large was too big. <laughs> so I am doing that and it costs $5 less if you buy a children's shirt versus an adult shirt. So if you are small, that is definitely something to consider. Okay, these next two shirts are ones that you can't get if you're just a guest. This is my Disney College Program t-shirt. I got it from Company D in Epcot. Um, every park has Company D. The one in Epcot is the easiest one to get to because it's actually where you like go into work every day. No clue where the one at Animal Kingdom is. Don't know where the one at Hollywood Studios is. The one at Magic Kingdom is at Disney University. Um, I was always in a rush though when I was working at Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I bought this and I think it was only like $13 really cute and just a really good souvenir if you are doing the program they sell sweatshirts as well and then this t-shirt is my Disney Alumni Association t-shirt you have to um, complete the program in order to get this and I think every year it's a slightly different color but yeah I just stopped at Vista Way one night on my way home from work they'll send you emails about it and then you can go and sign up for the Alumni Association and get your free t-shirt Okay, I only have a couple more things in this haul, and those are Disney pens. So the first one I got was a stitch pen, and this feels like really, really weird, and it just writes in black ink. Um, but yeah, I just, I like stitch, so I got it. I don't remember how much it cost, but they have them in literally every, every, every store right next to the autograph books and stuff. And this, as a character... This pen was fine, um, nothing shorter than this. Don't wanna give the characters anything shorter than that. These three are actual like autograph pens. So this one is Minnie Mouse. I've had this one since like September or August. Whatever the first day I went to the parks was, I went and bought this and an autograph book. Um, this writes in black, some of them write in red though. So make sure you check out which one you're getting. It has her cute little bow on the top. And that is not Minnie Mouse's signature. Well, that's not how she does the M. So, that's why I got the cup because this irritates me a little bit. This one is the official autograph pen. It has Mickey Mouse's head. Um, just the normal blue autograph pen. But I bought these because I worked with them literally every single day on my job. And I just love these giant pens now. This one is the princess pen. So it's got a little crown and it has four princes princesses on that side and four on the other side again just a giant pen this pen i got from cast connections i don't know what's wrong with it i paid like four bucks for it which is 75 percent off so i think it was 12 dollars. then you twist it and it's supposed to be a little like mickey mouse and they have mini mouse pens of these as well so yeah i think they're about 13 dollars and that is all the stuff I'm going to show you today in this haul. I have a couple more things at home. I have some more stuffed animals, keychains, um, a photo album, some various things. So I will probably make another like mini haul video when I go home again. But I just wanted to show you guys all of these things that I have because it has been requested that I do a haul. So hopefully you guys stuck around to the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment below. Um, I don't know. Comment anything. Comment what you like. Comment when you're going to Disney World next. Comment your favorite things to shop for at Disney World. I would spend every single one of my lunches roaming the stores in Animal Kingdom, um, in Epcot. That was one of my favorite things to do, definitely. So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, got an idea of what you want to buy. Um, yeah, have an amazing day. Keep dreaming out loud, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!